<laughs> Welcome to day one of 21 Days of Laughter with me, Andrea Crisp, and Portland Laughter Yoga. So excited to have you here joining me over the next 21 days. This first video, I'm just going to go over some of the basics of laughter yoga and some of the things that you might see me doing uh, throughout the next three weeks. Laughter yoga, as I mentioned before, is really the union of laughter and breath. And not everything that I do during the 21 days of laughter will necessarily be straight up laughter yoga, but laughter yoga is actually really forgiving. It's one of the things that I uh, love about it. And there are some basic structure things of laughter yoga, and so I'm going to share those with you. And, and then there'll be all kinds of other stuff that gets thrown in as well. But I just like to start off with some of this. So lots and 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 lots, big, big, huge amount of childlike playfulness. Um, so if you don't feel like you're in touch with that side of you, but you'd like to be more in touch with a playful childlike side, not childish, we're not going to be childish. That's, there's a big difference here. So we're going to be childlike and uh, tapping into play and uh, helping stimulate, stimulate our problem solving skills and our creativity and really just opening up our heart. And the, the childlike playfulness is a huge part of laughter yoga. So there's going to be tons of that. And then part of that as well is clapping and chanting. And so I'm going to teach you the, the two basic chants from laughter yoga with, of course, my own twist because things just happen to change a little bit when uh, you open it up to the rest of the world. And, and Dr. Kataria, the founder, is actually quite all right with that. Um, and then there's some other uh, chants and affirmations and things that we use here in Portland and have come to love. So I'll introduce you to some of those as well. So I'm going to stop talking so much <laughs> so we can, we can laugh and chant and clap. All right. So my most favorite of all is the one that uh, helps with the childlike playfulness is the little mini celebration. And it goes like this. Very good. Very good. Yay. Very good. Very good. Yay. We always do that twice. Of course, if I'm not getting everybody's attention in a big group, I may do it more than twice, but uh, it's going to happen at least twice uh, when we do very good, very good, yay. And that like yay celebration, sticking your hands up in the air can look like whatever you really want it to look like. Sometimes we do it like this. We go, very good, very good, yay. Or you can stick thumbs up, <laughs> okay signs, whatever it is that you feel like doing in the moment. But it's clapping with big wide open palms so we can stimulate acupressure points and help build energy. We have muscle memory when it comes to clapping. We've been clapping since we're like this high, little tiny, little tiny, tiny. Usually I'm doing that on the ground, but you can't see if I stick my hands up like this. But you know, when's the last time you hung out with a two-year-old uh, or even younger than that? They love to clap, they love to clap. It's something that we have a built-in muscle memory for um, since we we're little kids to know that when we're clapping, we're pleased and happy about something. And so the minute you start clapping, the brain's like, oh, wow, we're going to be happy. All right, I'll start turning out those happy chemicals. So, um, yeah, so that's one of the benefits of clapping. You actually build energy when you clap like this. You're stimulating acupressure points. So throughout the next three weeks, no golf claps or opera claps. No, no, no. no. We're going to do big, big claps like this. All right? So very good. Very good. Yay! Very good. Very good. Yay! <laughs> the other basic uh, laughter yoga chant uses the sounds of laughter, which we'll use a lot throughout um, the different laughter exercises that get shared. And some of what I do won't even be laughter exercises, it'll just be laughing, um, because at some point you, you don't really need the exercises. Um, and that's actually the whole entire point of an actual full laughter yoga session, is we're doing the laughter exercises and the childlike playfulness and uh, 
kind of bouncing off of each other with our eye contact and, and our fun and our laughter so that we can get to a point where we don't really need any of that and we can just close our eyes and laugh and that's what laughter meditation is all about. Um, but I can more much more easily just get into the laughter without the exercises now um, just because I've been doing it since 2008. So just know that if you're not feeling it and you're like, what the crap is going on here? Um, if you stick with it, I promise that by the end of 21 days, you will have made uh, forward progress and be able to smile or laugh more uh, easily than you have been before just by sticking with it and, and watching and, and uh, sticking your toe in and, and getting it wet with some laughter. All right, so the next uh, chant uses the sounds of laughter, which is what I was telling you about, and it goes like this. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Yay! Now the extra yay I added. Um, not that I'm the only person who's done that, but but that's something we do here in Portland. You're actually we usually do two on each side and then end with a yay because we don't have a huge club here so you don't have to do it um, a whole bunch of times. Now in straight up laughter yoga there's no four times or two times or whatever when it comes to the ho ho ha 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 chant. You just do it until you have everybody's attention. Um, and you can just do it as an exercise itself so you can do it and mingle around the room. So it, it gets used in different ways. Um, but we usually do four times and then add an extra yay because I just really like to say yay. <laughs> yay! It is so much fun. <laughs> I have a built-in muscle memory for the word, word yay. All I have to do is say yay and, and I feel better. Um, anyway, the other thing with the clapping and the chanting for this exercise is we're crossing the midline of the body. And this is really, really good for building neur neural pathways, new neural pathways. So. Um, any, any activity that you do that crosses the midline from one, one side of the body to the other um, is going to be great for your brain. So there'll be some other times that you'll catch us doing activities where we do that. And that's really why we're doing it. Um, I don't have to talk about it anymore. I'm going to explain it here. And then the rest of the time, we'll just do it. And you'll know, like, wow, this is good for my brain when I do this. Um, all right. So those are the two basic ones. <laughs> really simple and can be quite fun. And there's so many other chants and ways that you can like change all of that up. So uh, throughout the videos um, for the next 21 days, I'll be doing uh, those chants and different spins off of those chants. Like we did the little very good, very good, yay. Um, that one came in really handy once when I was uh, doing a, a rather large and loud laughter session during a conference in a nice fancy hotel in downtown Portland and the people who were in the thing next door um, also in a workshop as part of the same conference but they weren't having as much fun and they came over and told us to be quiet <laughs> so we went very good very good yay all right I got that one from uh the magnificent and lovely Laura Lou, who is one of our uh, local laughter leaders here in Portland, laughter yoga leaders. Um, so it came in very, very handy. Some other things that we do are celebrations or affirmations like this where we'll go, ah, yes, ah, yes. And then a final time in the middle, ah, yes. What you can't see is there's a little leg lift that I do when I when I when I do the ah yes so you can do that if you would like. <laughs> it just makes it that much more fun. <laughs> All right, so uh, those are our three of the, the the real basic chants that we do a lot here in Portland. There's a lot of other ones as well that will come out through the next three weeks. I just wanted to teach you a bit of those. And I'll throw in some of my favorite laughter exercises since this is the, the very first, uh, the very first video. So we use the sounds of laughter a lot, as I said, and one of my favorite laughter exercises is using the word aloha, which ends in ha 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 <laughs> and uh, capitalizing on the sounds of laughter at the end of that word. One of the 
wonderful things that I've learned about that uh, Hawaiian word aloha is it's very similar to namaste in the way that it's it's translated in the original meanings and it's kind of like an honoring of uh, the divine and a recognition that we're really all one but it's also a really fun thing to do so again we're going to use our hands up in the air and you're just going to extend that out and go aloha <laughs> <laughs> and again, hello. <laughs> and one more time, hello. So in India, in laughter yoga, in the original clubs that were started back in 1995, they did namaste as their traditional form of greeting laughter. And that is a way that they greet each other. And it's also used as, as a salutation. So if you've taken um, a traditional yoga class, that's probably where you've heard it. But again, it has similar meaning to aloha. And basically, you just walk around with your hands in the prayer position, doing a little bow. <laughs> Make an eye contact and giggling. <laughs> and this is Namaste Laughter. And basically it's just, again, a recognition that we really are all one. We're really all the same down deep inside. going to be the day one video. I know there's some talking in there, but there's also laughing as well. <laughs> and I'll be introducing or adding other videos throughout the 21 days that aren't necessarily videos that I'm recording, but that are videos that make me laugh or help me get my laughter started. Usually before I'm recording these videos, I am doing some other laughter just to get myself uh, laughing and in a good mood and ready before I actually start the recording process, um, which helps because I often will run into technical problems and it makes it easier for me to laugh instead of cuss when that happens. <laughs> anyway, so thank you for joining me and laughing along. I will be adding a few other videos, so if you feel like you didn't get enough laughter in with this video, uh, you can uh, pull up some of the previous videos, including the laughter challenge that was done in uh, 2015. That uh, playlist um, is being shared as well with the Facebook group. So if you don't have that and you would like that and you're not in the Facebook group, feel free to shoot me an email and I will send you that because, again, it's also a private playlist as well. But there's actually tons of videos there because it wasn't 21 days, it was 30 days and a bunch of extra uh, goodies as well. So stay tuned for day two through 21 and a whole bunch more. Thanks for laughing with me. Oh, oh, ha, 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 oh, oh, ha, 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 oh, oh, ha, 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 yay. Mwah. See you tomorrow.